If you are interested in advanced robotics applications with perception or self-driving cars, point cloud processing is a very important skill for you then. Kitty dataset provides its open source depth point cloud recorded data from a self-driving car's expensive sensors. So let's start understanding how we can interface that Kitty dataset with ROS2 and you can then further develop for your requirements. This is the official website of Kitty Vision Benchmark Suite which provides us the kitty dataset you can see it provides the image it provides the depth it provides a lot of other sensors as well so you can references into your work we have a lot of data here stereo flow sense flow depth audiometry object tracking semantics and raw data one option for you is to just download this raw data but we are not going to be downloading through this website we have other pipelines for downloading it as well so if we go here in this repository ROS 2 kitty publisher by umd clskn i will be cloning this repository it is going to be processing the kitty data set in our workspace let's go to source directory and then our ROS 2 point cloud directory and inside of it we will perform git clone and start cloning our ROS2 Kitty Publisher. I've already forked it. it, it is going to download it. Now coming to the next repository that we have, Deepak3994 Kitty dataset. It provides other things as well, but we will be using just this script, raw data downloader. We are going to set it raw, and then we will save it, put it into our workspace, and select save. If you open VS Code, we can see this is our package and this is the bash file that we have so what it does it contains all of the names and it connects it to url and start downloading and unzipping them as well it is a great bash script by deepak3994 now how i am going to download them let me open this location home source here it is let's open up a terminal here and we are going to first set the permissions for this bash file and I am going to first put it inside of a folder data because it starts to download in the same directory and we will then go into that data folder and we will start downloading it press enter and you can see it has started downloading the files it takes time depending upon your internet connection and it starts getting data of 2011 09 26 data and inside of it there are calibration files and other files as well so I want you to keep downloading the data and download all available files because this data is sequence and the more the sequence we have the more things we can do with the point cloud the more data we have we can visualize and understand multiple scenarios so keep on downloading i already have that so if we take a look here we have downloaded the package that we were utilizing for running the kitty data set ros2 publisher it's downloaded first thing is to build it call can build so here it is built in the ROS2 Kitty Publisher, if we take a look into the repository, this repository has a great explanation about the things that it is containing. You can see it is telling us the data set directory structure. The way it is built, it is saying that build folder and install folder and the source folder, which is our ROS2 workspace area. If I move here, so we have build data source log install. We have all of these. And it is saying put the data inside of your workspace the way that package is going to be utilizing I will show you it should have the data inside of your workspace directory so here if I show you that open it again open it you can see I have multiple sequences downloaded and inside of these sequences I have images I have Velodyne data and IMUs and GPS so if we take a look into this package inside of this package there is a source file kitty publisher main and kitty publisher node let me run this node source install setup bash ros2 run the name of package is ros2 kitty press tab it automatically completes then i double press tab and it provides me kitty publisher press enter and you can see it has started to run if the path is not correct for the data it is going to give you error here for example if i open up this node and here in this node this is the area line number 110 to 116 where it checks the path if i say data a data a, a, a extra a added and just save it and i first call can build it and then run this node you can see it gave me an error this error is it is unable to find so it take point cloud 
images and IMUs. So any path error is going to be fixed through this area. If you have not placed it inside of workspace data directory, then somewhere else. So let's run this data. We will perform call and build and as well run this data. I will open up another terminal and write rvis2 because rvis is what we are going to utilize for visualization. We'll add images and we are also going to add point cloud2. Point cloud2 is already added and you can see point cloud is being represented here. For the image part, for the topic, let me add image left and you can see we have the image we have the point cloud and this point cloud is according to the image that we are receiving these two sensors are on the car that is recording this in a bag file so the package ros2 kitty publisher saves a lot of our time and directly makes us able to run the kitty data set now the thing is this is one sequence if i go into data in this directory and i want to run this 0926 drive 005 this sequence so i will go here i will copy it and replace it with 005 replace it this is the path for this specific sequence so i will stop it and i will perform call call build and run it open rvis and this time you can see a different data stream is now running previously it was different we can do this with other files as well if we want to change it to what else sequence do we have 001 so i'll change it to 001 replace it save it and i will perform call can build and run open rvis so once it's built you can see we have the rail drag on the right and this is another sequence with point cloud you can see we have a lot of data here that we have on the left and the right and front and back as well so what we are going to do is to streamline our process i will create a launch file and this launch file is going to first bring rvis let me remove unnecessary things so here is a simplified version of a launch file that is only going to run rvis but rvis is going to be utilizing some settings we are going to save this configuration so we don't need to do it again and again let's put it in our point cloud publisher i will create a new folder name it to be rvis save it and we are going to save it as kitty viz save it it is now here we have to tell it kitty viz sort of visualization and the name of our package is point cloud processing it is going to bring rvis2 and load this and then we have to give a proper name it's not a urd file it's a config file path so it is going to bring rvis then load this configuration file and we don't need to add these point clouds and image topic again and again but as we are doing it our package does not know where this rvis directory is so we are going to say that add rvis directory here as well with this we are going to be launching an rvis because once rvis is loaded we don't need to run rvis again and again with the process we need to do again and again is the loading of the data and processing it so i will create another launch file here i will say process kitty dot launch dot pi which is not going to take any configuration and it is just going to package executable is going to be segment and output screen this is one node that we will be creating in the future the second node is going to be that we were running already from ros to kitty publisher that loads the data kitty publishers this is not yet created so i will comment this out ros to kitty publisher kitty publisher screen now let's close rvis and stop it perform call can build for launching ros to launch point cloud processing and bring rvis which is going to bring rvis and load these settings the next one is ros to launch point cloud processing process kitty but i will always be doing it with call can build because every time i make change in the code a different data is loaded it will be requiring building so that's why call can build is going to be added once you understand the structure of point clouds and how to process them using your nodes of c or python a new world opens for you and a lot of learning can be done through this data set